The back cabin, or boatman's cabin as they're often known, is the living accommodation of a traditional working narrowboat. Although each individual boat had her own quirks, the basic cabin layout was the same throughout the long distance carrying boats and functioned as bedroom, bathroom, kitchen and living room for the family it served. The range is the heart of the cabin, acting as both heater and cooker. It is coal-fired and would have been lit even in the height of summer. The range is fed with fuel stored in the coal box, which also adds as the step in and out of the cabin and as an impromptu seat. With its close proximity to the hot water supply, it is unsurprising that this little nook is the soap hole. Of course there is neither a water tank nor a sink on a boat like this. Instead you will find water cans and a hand bowl or a dipper. Water cans are commonly, but mostly incorrectly, called buckby cans. The ticket drawer is a reminder of the past, once taking change and loading papers. Although the tickets are mostly gone now, it is still a useful drawer. This is the table cupboard. The door hinges horizontally to create a sturdy work surface. The cutlery drawer lies beneath and is now sometimes called a crumb drawer as debris from the table will slide into the drawer when the flap is lifted. We come now to sleeping arrangements. This is the bed hole and the cross bed. The cross bed works in the same manner as the table cupboard, with the bed flap hinged horizontally coming to rest on a ledge to create a sturdy bed frame. The soft furnishings for the bed, including the cushion mattress, are stored in the space behind. The bed is put up during the day to allow access to the storage drawers below and seating is created by use of a seat board. The side bed, sometimes called a day bed, runs the length of the cabin. Like the rest of the fit out it is multifunctional and with storage below in drawers or cupboards and seating above which can also be pressed into service as an extra bed.